Hey guys, George at Soundtracks here. This week we're going to take a step away from all the tips and how-tos that we typically offer these weeks, but today we want to cover just how many sounds that Soundtracks offers. We want to show you the eclectic collection of sounds that we offer to help you bring your railroad to life. So let's get started. Now when it comes to sound, Soundtracks offers our decoders preloaded with sounds already in it. Now a lot of people may think erroneously that this means that our sounds are very limited or canned or generic. And that's quite opposite of the truth of actually what's in there. So when we talk about our steam decoders here, for example, I've got a handful of different steam locomotives that we can make sound for to help you really bring those locomotives to life. Now, it, for example, in our Tsunami 2 steam decoders, you get 90 whistles to choose from, hardly a pre-made or pre-fixed sound file. You also get 50 bell recordings. You get 10 exhaust chuffs, 10 air compressors, eight dynamos, four different types of fuel systems that can be used, different injectors to use, different coupler sounds, different articulated and non-articulated locomotive sounds. You have the sounds of the drivers going in and out of sync on articulated locomotives. All of these sound files are allowed to be selected and chosen so that you can more accurately represent the different locomotives that you may have in your fleet. As a result, we've done the math for you. We actually have 2.1 billion possible sound combinations in the steam decoder alone. Now, none of those are counting volume. So when we look at 1863, if you're modeling these small little 440s, they didn't have electric lights. Therefore, they didn't have a dynamo. So if we mute the dynamo volume, therefore we create a new profile. Same thing with the air compressor. If we mute the air compressor, because in 1863, they didn't have air compressors. So if we mute that, that creates yet another sound profile. And, and that 2.1 billion possible sound combinations does not include any volume, any manipulation to the sound files. That's just the sound file selection to allow you to more accurately recreate your steam locomotives. Now in the steam locomotives here, you may notice that we also have a UK version. Now in our Economy line, which is our budget friendly steam decoder and diesel decoder line, we actually have a Economy decoder that allows you to have most of the sound features, but maybe not quite all of the pun intended bells and whistles that you would get in our Tsunami 2. And one of the benefits that you do get in our Economy line that's not well known is you have a series of Economy sound files that are designed for UK models. So we have our UK Economy Steam and Economy UK for diesels. And this allows you a little bit more sound files than even then what we're talking about when it comes to the Tsunami 2. Now in our Economy line, the sound files are pared down so you don't have quite as big a selection, but you do have the same sound files that are gonna be in your Tsunami 2, just with the more limited sound files. The exception, of course, is our UK sounds. Now, when it comes to diesels, now typically we have a lot of diesels. There's a lot of competitors out there that like to boast that they have over a hundred different sound files for you. That's precious, isn't it? Because with our diesel decoders, we have over 40 different diesel prime movers that have been recorded over the times, over the years. And some of these are some of the oddballs. For example, looking for a Fairbanks Morse, we have a Fairbanks Morse right here. Looking for the Galloping Goose, bingo, got you covered. How about that dual 567 for the E units? Yep, got you covered right there. How about that three unit gen set uh, prime lubriver? Got you covered right there. What about a two gen set? Ah, yes, we actually have you covered. Even with the three gen set, you just mute the volume on the third individual gen set prime mover. So it allows you to make two gen sets. What about that modern GE-9 or modern-840 CW? Yep, got you covered right here. We have that in our GE sound files. So how about that EMD 645 Turbo F prime mover sound? Yep, we have you covered in the EMD2 sound file selection. So as a collection, in there we have over 40 different diesel prime movers to choose from. We have 54 bell recordings. We have 44 different air horns to choose from. We have different air compressors, again, different coupler sounds and things like that that allow you to customize the model. Now, 
one of the features we have is the air conditioning sound that plays in the background. Now a lot of our individual sounds have volume controls that allow you to adjust the volume, but also you can use it to mute the particular sound. So if you have a model like this GP38 that doesn't have an air conditioning unit, you just turn the volume off and you'll never hear it. So that technically is a profile. But not counting volume control, we have over 100,000 different possible sound combinations with just our diesels alone. So when you go in and you look at your diesel decoder that you're gonna buy that you want to install in your model, you're gonna select the family that the locomotive is from, whether it be EMD, GE, Alco, or Baldwin and others. As you can see, we have a lot of others in our Baldwin and others, including the UP gas turbines. Then once you get that, you select from the list of the preloaded sound files for the prime movers, and then you select the horn, the bell, the air compressor, and all of those different sounds to make your unique profile. Now, when it comes to Soundtracks products, we also have the ability for you to control it normally using a traditional DCC system, or now with our Blue Nami, you can use an app free app downloaded on your iPad or iPhone. Android is in the works, guys, so be patient, it's coming. But the decoder will be exactly the same. But our Blue Nami line of decoders has all these same sound files built into it. The advantage, you can do all of that using the Blue Nami app. You click the settings button down here on the bottom, and now you can go in and make all of the adjustments, select all of the sound settings that you would like to make your Blue Nami match the locomotive that you've installed it. So as you can see here, just in this brief little discussion, Soundtrax has the sounds that you need to bring your model railroad to life and match the prototypes that you demand. Now, if you've liked this video and you wanna see more of this type of content, please click the like button below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you have any further questions, feel free to contact us at support at soundtracks.com or give us a call in the email listed below. Thanks for watching.